everybody. It is Liz with the Best of Magic Valley, Magic Valley Business Spotlights. Today we are at the Valley House. We're gonna talk to Kim. Let's go inside and find out everything that they do. All right guys, so we are inside now the Valley House with Kim. So Kim, please explain a little bit about what Valley House does, who you help and everything that's incorporated in here. Okay, so we are the only shelter in the Magic Valley. We serve eight counties and we are mainly a shelter. That's our main purpose of being here, which means that we house and we feed, we give clothing to, we give hygiene to, we completely take care of the people who live here. We're also a homeless shelter program, so that means that we're not what you see on TV. You come in, and when you're here, you have a bed that you get to stay in. So you don't have to check in every night, which, which when you look on TV, that's what you see. You see these beds, you know, bunk beds, and here, every family, they have their own unit. So you still have the capacity to, to flourish in a way that you would not in a normal shelter. Our ladies, it's communal living, they share a kitchen, but we have, um, they each, well, they share bedrooms, but not to the same extent. We have, you know, between three to six beds in each room, and the men, it's the same way. They have communal kitchen and living area, and they share bedrooms. We also have transitional living, which is phase two of our shelter, and that means that it's a two-year program, and they can live there um, while paying a fee to us mm -hmm. while they're getting their feet back underneath them. They, to come into the shelter, um, we do drug testing. We are a sober living environment. You have to be sober upon entering our program. We have rules that have to be followed. We have a curfew that has to be followed unless you're at work. And we hold them financially accountable. We, and we have classes that happen here. We desire for you to move on successfully with new skills under your belt. That's awesome. Yeah. So you guys are a full nonprofit. So yes. tell us, how has the community kind of gathered around and helped the Valley House become what it is? Because you're building new buildings, you're helping more people. Right. You guys are kind of the staple for the Magic Valley, not just Twin Falls for those that are in need. Yes. So the, without the community, we would not be here. Um, we are 100% community funded. We don't receive any federal funding. Mm -hmm. And our community is by far one of the most generous communities. If we put out the, oh my gosh, I, I need canned corn, we will end up getting hundreds of canned corn. And it's, we have never, um, whenever we start worrying, we always say, why are we worrying? Like we know that's gonna be supplied because our community cares. And that also means financially. So our program is shelter. And that means you have to have staff. We have to have people who clean the rooms. We have to have people who bring in the donations that come in. They have to process the donations. We have to have someone who does our books. You know, you have, you have all the things that happen. So we have a pretty small staff. It's a staff of nine. And there's only three of us that are, that are full time. Mm -hmm. And, but that means that we have to have staff that's paid for. We have this new building that's happening mm -hmm. and that adds 60 more beds. And in the past year, we have been a 100% at capacity with, if we had a waiting list, there would be a waiting list. Mm -hmm. um, we have helped, we help anyone and everyone. The only things, like I said, you have to be sober upon entering and we also do background checks and we are looking at, so anyone who has um, violent charges or a sexual predator type charge, they're also not allowed in their program because right. it's for safety of others. Right. And, um, but beyond that, we help everybody. And we help those that come to our door and say, I can't bring you in for shelter. I'm going to still love on you and care on you. I want you to be fed. I want you to be warm. Mm -hmm. I want you to have a pillow under your head. We are going to make sure. So it's not just me, it's we, we make sure that you are taken care of to the extent that we can take care of you. No matter if you come to our door, not really knowing who your name is right now. Right. So, um, yeah. So tell me a little bit about what the need is now from now until the end of the year or from the end of the year beyond what is the need that the valley house has a continual need or what what do you need kim okay <laughs> so here at the shelter just shelter only not our transitional living we have 15 kitchens and 17 bathrooms that we fully stock that means we always 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 need cleaning supplies and paper products okay. always we always need food the scouts have done a huge drive for us <laughs> and so but that need for food is always happening because we hand out food all the time to those with, with food insecurities. Down Addison here, all these motels, many of those people do come here to get their food um, or part of their food. 
So even though they're not staying here, you're handing out food? Yes. Okay. We are a food pantry for the community. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. So are you in need of like, do you clothe them when they come in? Do you need clothes? Do you need diapers? Do you need sanitary issues? Things yes. like that, everything. So feminine hygiene we always need. Um, clothing, we take in-season clothing only. We okay. don't have storage for clothing. Uh, so we are happy to take the in-season clothing, but beyond that, we cannot. Um, we are hopeful that in the future, we can have some type of open little shed type enclosed area that we can just use like the, that these people who come for food can also get clothing and then we can take more clothing. Okay. Um, and we also need hygiene all the time because mm -hmm. we do a lot of hygiene. Yeah. Perfect. So let's talk about this new building that's like outside that's yes. huge that every time I drive down Addison, I'm like, what's going up? So yeah. tell us about the building. We are incredibly excited about this new building just because the need, it will be the day we open it within the week, it'll be full. It is 15 units. Mm -hmm. It houses up to 60 more people. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we're super excited about it. And it's a $1.2 million project uh, that we've been raising funds for. And we are this close to being fully funded on that. And so we are in need of funds to finish this. To So we need the community to come alongside of us financially to meet the needs of helping those that are marginalized in our community, those that are still struggling. So I know that the Valley House gives me warm and fuzzies. Um, I, I had a, I, my mom was a single mom, so I was raised by a single mom. She did the best she could. She worked three jobs. Yep. Um, mom too. Yeah, so yeah. I get the warm and fuzzies when yeah. I when I talk about the Valley House. Can you tell us, maybe without going into so much detail, but a family that you have seen come in with nothing and that you guys have helped, just like a story or a, a success story that you yes. have? So we do, we have you, we have everyone who is just living paycheck to paycheck and all of a sudden they didn't get that one paycheck and they're coming in. Mm. We have those that were um, a drug user and lost everything and their family has said, you're out, and, but now they're ready to be sober and they come in. We also have those that got caught doing something naughty and were in jail. And so the person I'm thinking of, um, both she and her spouse got put into jail and she got out of jail, came here, didn't have her kids at that time mm -hmm. because you, a lot of times you lose your kids. Right. And so she lived here while her husband was st still in jail and she started working our program. She, she got her job within, by the way, two, within two weeks, you have to have a full-time job okay. when living here at the shelter. And she got her job, she was turning her paperwork, she was doing all the things. She got herself a, bought a car, like she just was doing the, the, all the right things. And then she's like, if I get a place, I can get my kids back. She was to that point. She ended up moving over to our transitional living, which is a two-year program. She now has her kids. Her husband has all will be back there. So she went from being, you feel desperate because you, mm -hmm. it's like, we are, we give Valley House, not, it's never, it's not people. It's Valley House gives people the ability to have hope and getting back on their feet. So that's where the warm and fuzzies come from yeah. because all of us um, could be here, to be honest. Everyone Absolutely. thinks not me, but really, yeah, you. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I have four kids, I get it, yeah. 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 <laughs> every, every day you're, you're yes. struggling making sure that you can do the best you can. Um, so if people want to reach out and help and everything else, I know this is a very private, safe community. How do they reach you to get involved or to write a donation for the building or to bring you food or sanitary issues? How can they reach out and give that stuff to you? So they'll, our phone number, you can call and set up something. It's 208-734-7736. Our website has the ability where you can, um, it has all of our information on there, but you can also just click through Venmo or through PayPal, and that's valley-house.org. You can walk up. We're here, office hours are Monday through Thursday, nine to four, and on Friday from nine to three, and you can just knock and say hi. Um, and donations, that we accept those only Monday through Thursday if it's an item, in-kind item. Um, financial donations, you can come anytime to the door, or you can mail it, and our address is uh, PO Box 774, and then 83303. Perfect, and is there still money needed for the building? Yes, we are about, 
I think it's about 200,000 out from okay. being completely funded, which that sounds like a lot of money. But if you're talking, in the beginning it was 1.4, but we've had some great companies within town come and say, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna start shaving off costs for you. Even Mohawk Flooring gave our local Walker Flooring um, company a discount. That's amazing. Yes, so it's a really big deal. So with that, we've been shaving off a little bit. And so out of 1.2, 200,000, like that's right now. Perfect. We're super excited. Yeah. Perfect, well thank you so much, Kim, for sitting down with us today. Well, thank you. We're super really excited. really appreciate it. Perfect, thanks. Thanks.